Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. It's time for our latest Into Tomorrow ITTV update. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Graveline. Thanks for joining us here on our little web show. Want to be the first to know about our latest prize giveaways, tech news, and various tech tips every week? Well then, you'll want to subscribe to our free weekly tech newsletter. It's easy at intotomorrow.com. Just enter your email address right there in the red box on our main page. Then you'll receive an email confirming you want to get our newsletter. Accept by clicking the link in that email. And there you go. You'll then see us in your inbox once a week. Want to listen to your music safely on the go or even at work? Rob shows us a triple threat portable audio system on this week's Product Spotlight. Thanks, Dave. Because we love audio, we love showing our audience some cool audio products. This time, it's a small portable audio system called Free Wheeling. This small speaker system is practical for cyclists, drivers, and even office workers. It's a triple threat. The Free Wheeling audio system is designed for helmets, vehicles, and desktops. The Free Wheeling system works with pretty much any portable music player. It can play your music via Bluetooth after you pair your device with it or you can use the headphone cable provided in the kit to connect your device. If you go the Bluetooth route and pair your smartphone, it can work as a hands-free speakerphone. There are buttons on the unit itself that you can use to easily answer or reject calls, and they can also be used to control your music. If you use a helmet at work, like a construction worker, for example, or you like to ride your bike, your safety may be put in jeopardy by wearing earbuds. It keeps you from hearing warning sounds around you like car horns, sirens, and pedestrians. This audio system frees your ears and easily attaches to a helmet with a dual lock system. It's pretty much Velcro 2.0. You apply these in three different areas on your helmet and attach the free wheel in. You can then wirelessly play your music and enjoy it safely. The sound quality is pretty good for this small unit, but keep in mind people around you may hear your music or calls if you're blasting it. As we mentioned earlier, this audio system also works in your car. There's a visor clip attachment in the kit. It attaches to the free wheel in with the dual lock pads. After you attach it, just insert the clip on your visor. You can now use it as your hands-free speakerphone in your car. After you're finished using it in the car, you can bring it inside to your office, for example, and use it as your speaker system. You can listen to your music or use it for online calls like with Skype. The unit has a built-in microphone that works pretty well. The free wheel in audio system has a rechargeable battery. It's reported to provide up to 15 hours of music playing or 10 hours of talk time, so you'll get a good workday out of it. If you're interested, this will cost you around $150 online. We think the price is a bit steep, but for those that can get good use out of this, we recommend trying it. We'll have more details for you at intotomorrow.com and on this weekend's radio broadcast. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. Always great to see products that serve more than one purpose. What are your thoughts on the free wheeling? Would you spend about $150 for it? Let us know in the comments section. You can also call us toll free via the Ask Dave hotline for our national radio show at 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686 anytime, 24-7. And remember, you can also use our free Into Tomorrow app for your mobile device. And that is so much cooler. Our weekly ITTV updates are brought to you in part by NewEggBusiness.com. Do you have a small business with IT needs? Visit NewEggBusiness.com for their everyday solutions and deals on business electronics and office must-haves. IT is simple at NewEggBusiness.com where once you know, you knew it. It's time to buckle up for our weekly trip into yesterday with our in-house tech historian, Chris Graveline. This week, he takes us back to the first time cars featured air conditioning. Oh, here's Chris. This week in 1851, the telescope was patented by Alvin Clark of Cambridge, Massachusetts. In 1866, the rotary crank bicycle was patented in Paris, France. The bike, incidentally, was known as the Bone Shaker. In 1931 this week, the first commercial teletype service was introduced by American Telephone and Telegraph Company, or AT&T. And this week in 1939, the first air-conditioned automobiles went on display at the Auto Show in Chicago. 
That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA, or the International Funkausstellung in Berlin, the global trade show for consumer electronics that's rich in its own history. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Thanks, Chris. Boy, how we Floridians certainly appreciate air conditioning in our cars today. Do you know that in addition to this weekly report, we also host a three-hour weekend radio program? Into Tomorrow currently airs on more than 180 AM-FM radio stations across the U.S., on stations in Canada, on the American Armed Forces Networks, and we stream online at intotomorrow.com and a plethora of other sources. And of course, on our free app, 24-7, as well as many other online sources. In case you don't hear it on your favorite local talk radio station, we hope you'll reach out to them and put in a good word for us. Thanks for tuning into tomorrow. And thanks for joining us again this week. I'm Dave Graveline. On behalf of the entire Into Tomorrow team, we'll look for you right here again real soon. <laughs>